Hello. Hi. From Tokyo. It's your boy Nate. I read books because reading is sexy, and if you're not reading, you're not sexy. I'm running extremely late, like I have to leave now, so don't mind me. Just gonna put some hand cream on and talk to you a bit. Little yap sesh, y'all. Yeah, I'm in Tokyo, and today we're going to meet a very special guest. Y'all, reveal. I'm going to meet Alex. From what page are you on? Kawazi. Kawazi. I love Alex. I've watched him ever since On Earth Where Briefly Gorgeous came out. I'm just, um, to be honest, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> just, you know, usual nerves of meeting someone new. It's just overall overwhelming shyness. I wouldn't categorize it as social anxiety, but I am. It does make me anxious, but it's just really, really intense shyness. I am a sh I, I, I don't think most people know, but I, I am an incredibly shy person. I am an introvert as much as uh, it seems like I'm an extrovert. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, hand cream on, rings on. I need to clean my glasses, so mind me while I go glasses. Glassless for a second. Okay, quick rundown of books. I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but with me I have Call Me By Your Name by Andre Osman. It's a summer annual reread for me, and I'm doing this with I'm Alex La. I've gone too far, too far. I, I've gotten carried away with myself, so I'm gonna put a pause on that, and I have another book. But I've been popping off here with my net galley picks. I did Toward Eternity by Anton Herr, which was fab. It looks at language and the playful nature of it in terms of translation and how words carry history and what implodes or explodes in of them or uh, from them. And it's a beautiful look at memory, queer love, and uh, AI. So it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Finally, glad that he has his own novel out because for the longest time he's just translating other people's works and I think that created a lot of questions out of what is writing for him and what is language as a translator. So it, it, was, uh, it was a lot of fun. I did a uh, banal nightmare, which is not a good time at all. And I mean that in the best way possible. What is it that John Waters says? Give me a feel bad book. I don't need a feel good book. I already feel good about my life. And though I don't really feel good <laughs> about my life at times, um, yeah, I'm all in for a bad time, and it is just, it'll make you sick about how you feel about your 30s, certainty, as it's plagued with situationships, uh, coming out of the Trump era, and just existing. And it just makes you feel so ugly, and there's just like this major stink over it. Sorry, I'm cleaning my phone. Do I need to talk about anything else? I did Medusa of the Roses by Navid Sinaki, and that's beautiful, poetic, incredible. Queer. Amazing. Go out and read it. Uh, I did the new Elizabeth Strout, Tell Me Everything, and I have not read any of the previous books, but wow, just like small world, big world vibes to it, and it, she, Elizabeth Strout is an incredible storyteller. Love what she does with like setting up atmosphere, setting up a town, and it's people, and it's incredible, really. How am I gonna do this? I can't drink my diet coffee today. Okay. Oops, well, okay, there we go. I'm probably gonna shit myself doing this coffee latte. But before we meet Alex, I'm gonna go to the Yoyoi Kusama Museum. Ooh, I'm gonna put my glasses back on. Yikes, y'all. I've been meaning to go to this museum, but you have to like book tickets online and in advance. And I've just never been able to get tickets ever um, until now. And I hope I'm not late to it because I gotta go. I gotta go now. Um, I wanna do loft. I haven't done like a strong loft walkthrough. Like I've only ever dipped in because it was there and I didn't have a lot of time and it would only be like 15, 20 minutes. It's this like giant stationary store that just sells a bunch of like other knickknacks in Shibuya. Uh, I don't know if I'll do that. I don't know. And then probably chill a bit at a cafe. We're in Shinjuku right now. And I don't usually stay in Shinjuku because I just, it's kind of grimy and I don't really like it. I usually like to stay in Shibuya. It's the center of everything. It's the hub of everything. It's just easy to 
access anywhere and everywhere all at once. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I don't think I'll bring this with me. Incredible though, it's amazing how Awesomeman is able to drive the novel simply by desire. It's like not heavily plotty either in comparison to the film. And even though the film isn't really plot heavy either, it's really a look at atmosphere. This just like builds plot out of desire and it's just so unique in its very singular voice in Elio's voice. It's so good to be back in Southern Italy. Crema. It's just really beautiful. If anyone must know, I'm using this sexy postcard from the Wolfgang Tillman show that I saw in San Francisco. What is this one called? Arms and Legs. Love this, is printed in Germany. Anyway, thought it was fitting. And I just love this cover, y'all. I mean, I love the movie cover too, but yellow scrawl over two boys wrestling. <laughs> it's just astounding. Yeah, so I have with me, also, if anyone didn't know, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 has like gimbal face tracking, so it follows me if anyone needed to know. Okay, um, I think I'll bring this with me. It's a uh, Piro Le Fou by Jean-Luc Godard. This is just the film script. Quick afternoon read, if you will. As I wait for our meeting time with Alex. Quick Japan haul, y'all. I had drinks last night. I shouldn't have, but you know, we're here. I got a basic white tea from Family Mart. If anyone didn't know, Family Mart is a convenience store and the best, in my opinion, in terms of all your quick convenience store Japanese food snacks needs. Great. And they have their own branded stuff. I saw a model. His name's Hobin. Hi, Hobin, if you ever watch this video. Um, yeah, and he looked really good in a shirt. I probably won't look as good, but influenced, influenced. This is just a basic white shirt. So exciting, y'all. So exciting. I also got a stapler. <laughs> this is a stapleless stapler. This does five pieces of paper at once, but what it does is it punches like a little hole and collects all the papers together. Um, without having to use a staple. Um, I was thinking I need this for work. I'm gonna pull it out of its box. And it's so light. I was just like, when I picked this up, I was like, is anything even in here? But this is what it looks like. And then you put your papers in and then that. I have one similar to this, but a different brand, but it's just so heavy. So I'm glad I just have this now. It is so, so light. Love, love, love. So excited to use this. <laughs> The things I buy, y'all. The things I buy. The curious knickknacks of Tokyo, y'all. Oh, okay. I had this, like, nasty cold sore just because of stress. And has been putting a great strain on my entire being and my body. But look at this. This is insane. So these are cold sore patches. You put this patch over the cold sore in your mouth. And I was afraid it would like swish around, but it actually sticks. It's really adhesive. And then you just leave it in there. And it like, I would leave it in there overnight and then it dissolves. It dissolves in your mouth. And my cold sore is not there anymore. It's so wild. It was like in my mouth. And I was just like, God, please get out of my mouth. And it had been so painful, but now it doesn't hurt anymore. And it's gone. Insane, y'all. Insane. But if anyone needs to know what it looks like, it looks like that. Amazing. Astounded. God, Japan is so wild. Okay, uh, I also got... We had to come back for the jellies, y'all. The jellies. The Piro Kondro jellies. This is in a fruit soda gummy flavor. And um, this is the Umeshu. It's like a, like a plum. Yeah. Excited to try this. All right, y'all, I'm late because I have to load my Passmo card and yeah, just get this show on the road. All right, follow along. Love ya. Peace. Y'all. It is so humid, not me running to this museum. <laughs> Here we are.
Hi y'all, using a book as a visor. The sun just came out, just finished the Kusama exhibit, and I was surprised by it. I was told it was underwhelming, but I, I had a good time. There's not a lot, and it's quite small, but it's charming. And now I'm gonna do some coffee in dire need. So we're gonna do that. Hi y'all. Wait, can I clip this to my book? Oh my god, I can. <laughs> Here's the OOTD of the day. Will this capture everything? I hope so, I sure hope so. Basic Adidas soccer jersey, Kotesi belt, these fun wide-legged jeans. It is so hot today, y'all, so hot. Um, there's a baby screaming. Uh, these fun Nike shoes that I just got. And I've been loving this new Arquette leather bag. Okay, let me just move in a little closer so y'all can see, but like... Showing little underwear, little underwear there. I hope you can see that. And yeah, got our Piro Le Fou right here. Okay, I'm gonna go, it is so hot. Oh, everything's melting off of me. Okay, bye. Hello, we just got back home from a shit ton of shopping. I shopped way too much. This is really dangerous. I don't know how I'm gonna haul everything back. Mind the clip in the hair, but this is the, the full look. We've kept the bottom, so I still have on the denim shorts, but I decided to throw on this rest and recreation yellow shirt. Here I am, post bird bath. <laughs> Anyone else? A little dab dab. Dab dab, splish splash. <laughs> Red sunnies cause it's really bright outside and I wish I had worn my sunglasses all day. But I was like, wait, I kind of want to see the Kusama paintings and stuff in their like natural colors and all. So um, we left the tints at home. Bring them out tonight though. And yeah, we're meeting Alex. Waiting on his reply, but in the meantime, trying to poof up the hair a bit with this clip. Did I talk about our legacy necklace? There. I have nothing underneath. This is 
scandalous. All right, peace out, y'all. Probably do a bit of reading, and then I'll go meet Alex. Stay tuned. Sorry, Alex. I'm still a content creator. <laughs> You're in ice. Things like that. Hi, vlog. It's what page? What page are you on? In Japan with Nathan. Nathan Snow. How's this happening? How's this real? Who knows? Crazy. Crazy. Cheers. Cheers. Howdy, y'all, how's it going? It's morning. Last night was so much, it was great, it was great. I couldn't have asked for more. Alex and I met up and it was amazing. We just had long talks of life, books, everything in between, wonderful. And he gifted me, I asked for this, but I be I've been wanting this for so long, but it's by Picador, they did a double feature of Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf, and when you flip it over, it's The Hours by Michael Cunningham. And so, so pretty. I love it. I love looking at it. It's such a beautiful object in itself. It looks like these really dried, pressed flowers into the book. Oh, exquisitely done. I finished Pirot Le Fou this morning by Jean-Luc Godard. And what's so interesting about Godard's scripts, I feel, is that there's so much visual energy in his work that it just bleeds onto the screen a lot better than in writing. And that's fine. I I still enjoyed it. My issue, I think, having watched it, I think, like three or four times already, and I'll probably give it another rewatch, is that I'm always so distracted by the dialogue and the poeticism that exists in the lines, so that's why I wanted to read it. But reading it, like, so plain and flat on the page like this, I miss the visual aspect of the film. And so, yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll do that once I get back home, or once I have time. And, yeah, it's, it still holds up, I think. There's a beauty to it in how it has that, like, strong boy and girl on the run with a gun. And it's fun. The book opens up with an interview with Godard. And what he wanted to do at first was create a Lolita-style novel. And he had bought the rights for it, which is so insane to me. Imagine if he had adapted Lolita instead of Stanley Kubrick. And I recently watched that adaptation. And i it's fine. It's not Kubrick's best. But I think there were a bunch of complications in terms of artistry that made it difficult to uh, create such a work but, you know, it was Nabokov's only screenplay. It was 400 pages long, and uh, Kubrick stripped it down to 200 pages, making it a two-hour film. It's 
not a slog, but it's long and you can feel it. There are pacing issues and it was all under the Hayes Code up into the 70s, very closely, where you weren't allowed to show sex on screen. So I think artistically and thematically, Kubrick decided to make some character changes and cut out certain aspects that uh, just ends up becoming a bloated film. It's still fine. It's like three and a half for me, but it's exquisitely done. Peter Sellers is amazing in it. I love him. But yeah, imagine if Godard made Lolita. It would be so aesthetically and stylishly done. But this was put on hold, and then he made Ben de Bar, and then followed with this film. And Ben de Bar has a stronger boy and girl in the run, but it's a threesome, uh, which is cute. I very much still hold this film dear to my heart, and I think it's just, you know, every teenage boy who discovers a nouvelle vague and makes it their entire identity. It's still part of me, and I think it's because it has the childlike mechanisms and approach to the camera, and so approach to medium, and so just approach to life. There's, you know, a childlike imagination that runs so beautifully through Nouvelle Vague that I just love. Tickles my fancy. Fancy my tickles. I'm here with um, orange water. It is orange flavored water, which is amazing, y'all. Can I open this with one hand? Mm, it has just like a light orangey taste. Like if you soaked orange slices in water. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head to this cute cafe nearby and then get some more reading and writing done. We'll see what the rest of the day brings. Has that just been sticking out this entire time? Oh God, that's gonna bother me. Anyway, monsoon season is approaching, which means I am not stepping outside ever, ever, <laughs> because it's just gonna be wet, humid, hot, and not fun. Monsoon season, not a fun time. And just wait for it to pass until it becomes excruciatingly hot, and then you have to deal with that. I think this might be the outro to the vlog. So, thanks for being here. I want to know what part of your childlike imagination still exists within you in terms of favorites, things that you do, habits, anything like that. Let me know. Let a boy know. Ooh, if anyone's forgotten, I'm a Blackwell's affiliate. And thank you to everyone who has made purchases through my affiliate link. Will be linked downstairs, but helps the channel out. And Blackwell's free shipping. Incredible. Love it. I recently did a summer pick-me-up, so excited for those books to come in. But yeah, free shipping. And books are decently priced. It's just great. So yeah, if you like me, if you liked any of the books I talked about, use the Blackwell's affiliate link downstairs. Okay. As always, be well. Do good work. Keep in touch. Love y'all.
change it again. Oh, I changed it a little bit. That sounds different. Did you change it? Well, I changed it a little bit. Why? I just played it the way List would have played it if he altered box version. Play that again. Play what again? The thing you play outside. Jamais je n'aurais cru que tu me plairais toujours, oh mon amour. 